if you want an experience that's above basic and better than status quo, uh, cheap's not always going to get the job done. In 1948, the world was introduced to the Rolls-Royce of cardboard, the apex of lo-fi, what many refer to as the king of box cameras, the Zeiss Icon Box Tangor 56-2. Sitting on a shelf with other cameras, the Box Tangor might just blend in as another vintage tinker toy. But in the hand, it's immediately apparent that this thing is a premium item. There's a heft and a robustness to it that other box cameras just don't have. The Tenger 56.2 gives you the option to select your aperture and your focus distances to adjust for your shooting conditions. This is contrary to most box cameras, which usually only offer one fixed aperture and one minimum focus distance. Where the king of box cameras really shines, though, is in the lens. You get a Gorez Frontar Acromat lens, which is basically just fancy talk for this shit is sharp. And before using the Tanger, I never really thought that I would say sharp and box camera in the same sentence. So you might think that selectable apertures and focus distances with a sharp lens is kind of like a neat trick for a box camera. But wait! There's more! The Tanger has a double exposure prevention system that locks out the advanced knob to prevent taking accidental shots. You even get a visual cue via a small window that shows either a white or a red flag telling you what position the shutter lock is currently in. Most box cameras have just a, an open red window in the back so you can view the frame you're at. But true to the overbuilt nature of the 56-2, there's a nice slotting cover for additional protection against light leaks. The box tanger that I reviewed in this video belongs to Jason, who also goes by Ganzonomy here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and I'll link to his channel in the description. And Jason, you know, thanks for sending this over, man. It was a blast to shoot. After shooting so many cameras over the years, it's rare that I come across one that just makes me say, wow. But you know, I can honestly say that was the box tanger. When I shot this thing, I was legitimately impressed. Uh, it was fun and, and just all the bells and whistles were, were kind of cool. To repeat the wise words of Mel Brooks, it's good to be the king. If you guys want to continue to check out stuff on box cameras, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put a video here for you. And uh, I do hope everybody's well. And until the next video, we'll see you.